Alright guys, Dokkan time again, and today we're going to be going over what you should be choosing for hidden potential stats for Gawasu Zamasu, and then for Mai. Future Mai, specifically, I guess. Um, I have a feeling it's pretty much going to be a very straightforward response. Most of the time, people see a supportive unit, and it's pretty obvious you go dodge and then additional. Uh, but you never know what will happen. You never know. So, I mean, they're pretty straightforward. They don't have any transformations or anything. Um, pretty big difference, though, from pre-Easy A to Easy A, I will say that. In the pre-Easy A for Gawasu Zamasu, it was just Seal Super. All allies keep plus two defense 70. He had a 50% chance to dodge and 100% attacking. Wasn't anything really to write home about. But then when he Easy A's, greatly it raises attack and defense and still seals. And all allies key plus 3 and defense plus 70, plus an additional key plus 1, attack plus 30 for all allies. When all allies attacking in the same turn are Realm of Gods, okay, that's different. <clears throat> so that means if you have a full Realm of Gods, like, turn rotation or team, then everyone's getting key plus 4 and attack plus 30%, defense plus 70%, okay. you still got a 50% chance to evade. He also gives himself key plus 5, attack plus 140%, and defense plus 70% when attacking extreme enemies. But he has defense plus 140 when attacking super? That's just dumb. <laughs> uh, plus an additional attack and defense 70% when performing super. So, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. He's a straight, freaking, full dodge build. There, there's uh, there's no reason to even have the crit even up here. He's a, he's a full dodge build. <clears throat> I'm not even going to put AA up there. He is just all dodge. Just go full dodge. Full dodge as much as possible. Um, if you have the AA on there, I would say that it would be best that um, that it is very much last. So definitely go full dodge first. Dodge first. Yeah, dodge first. That is your primary focus is dodge. And then go into additional. Um... If, if this dude's not a 20 plus dodge, then you, you got him wrong. You built him wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, he's a pretty straightforward unit. I don't think he's going to be amazing. It is nice that he has Cold Judgment, though. Cold Judgment goes a long way. He's got Brainiacs, Gentlemen, Solid so Okay, Solid Support isn't really anything. But, I mean, yeah. I mean, the fact that he has some pretty decent links that give him high defense, I'd say that's pretty good. <clears throat> Let's look at my... So my... How much has changed? Wow, a whole lot. Holy crap sticks. So she used to only have a 50% chance to stun and then supported time traveler allies and had more stun built in. Now she actually has a paragraph here. <clears throat> she raises defense on super, defense 120, pack 80, uh, time traveler allies keep plus 2, attack and defense 40, uh, plus an additional key plus one attack and defense for super class allies. So super class allies, which is who you're predominantly going to be running her with, is straight up a 50% booster. That's nice. And key plus three. That's super nice. Uh, high chance to stun. So she gets two chances to stun 50%. She's got two coin flips. Um, when an enemy is hit by her super attack, great chance of evading. Oh, that's good. She's got a 70% chance to evade whoever she super attacks. Okay. And then she has an additional defense plus 80% when attacking and foresees enemy super attacks when HP is 70% or less. So I, I don't like that. I wish they had just made her a super class freaking Chi-Lai. That would have been really nice. Um, but yeah, it's the same thing with Gawasu Zamasu. Just go full dodge. <clears throat> full dodge, put the rest into additional, and pray that she can get an additional. Um, but pretty much both of these units, they're going to get you killed if they get hit with a super attack. Uh, they'll, they'll probably survive normals, uh, post-super, you know, after they've super attacked, they'll probably survive. But I would honestly say if a super attack hits them, even if they double supered, they're probably still gonna die. They're probably still only sitting at like 400k, 300k defense, and that's just not enough. So you need to go full dodge and pray to R and Jesus. So, but anyways, guys, I hope that helps you f like decide 
how you wanted to build these units. That is my suggestion. You don't have to take it. Um, but I wish you the best, and I hope you all have a good day and a good night.